Hello and welcome to Nature Tastic with Henry. As you can see, it's autumn and it's raining. What loves the rain? Water buds. Today we're going to see all of my top 10 water birds. Number 10 is the mallard. We've seen lots of these and did you know the mallard duck can fly up to 55 miles per hour? At number 9 it's Sukut, a, co a cousin of the moorhen and it can be identified by the white cap on its head. Number eight, the Canada goose was introduced from America and now can be found all over the United Kingdom. It's the Great Crested Green Rat 7. They're really clumsy on land because their legs are placed so far back on their body. Six is the moorhen and we've got some of these living in our garden and did you know their nickname is swamp chicken how funny that's a quick little look at 10 to 6 now let's look at my top five number five is the cormorant and, and can you see him up there and they will dive into the water to get fish Normally, after fishing, they will hold their wings out in the wind to dry. They also hold their wings out to cast a shadow on the water so then they can see their fish better. At number four, it's the graceful mute swan. The word mute comes from it being less vocal than other swan species. Mute swans feed on plants, particularly waterweed. Female swans are called pens and males are called cobs and the signets are the cute brown grey fluffy ones. Swans aren't always graceful. Look at this one that's toppled over. Are you ready for the top three? What do you think they're going to be? At third place, it's the grey heron. And mostly feed on fish, but occasionally can be tempted by the tasty mole. If the heron is feeling particularly lazy, they will go to a garden pond to get a quick and easy snack. When herons are flying, their legs will be stretched out and their necks will be tucked in. Winning the silver medal, it's a great white egret. A few decades ago, they were occasional visitors and now some pairs stay all year round. Aren't they handsome? They are related to the heron and are just as good as fishing. Here it is, number one, quite rare in this country, it's the spoonbill. The spoonbill is part of the ibis family. It feeds on water invertebrates and catches them by sweeping its spoon-shaped bill from side to side in the water. They're mostly found in the south of England, but this one we saw in Yorkshire. They're my number one because they're rare and their bill is very cool. There, that's my top ten. Do you agree with my choices? And with that, bye for Nature Tastic with Henry.